Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we shall see the calibration of a laser sensor. As you can see, this is a laser sensor of IFMEC. Laser means light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. So we shall see the calibration process of this sensor. This is of IFMEC. You can see there is written uh, M12 pins. Means this connector is M12. This is the description of the sensor and it is having four terminals you can see there are four terminals this four terminal distribution is given here one means the L plus two is out two means it is a current output three means the negative and the four is out one its power supply rated power supply is 24 volt DC you can see the back it is written 18 to 30 volt DC so we will give it 24 volt DC and uh, another thing is this is IFM MAC this is the model number okay uh, so there are two buttons on the top you can see for calibration we will use these two, two buttons one is mode or enter another is set and this is the display so when it will be powered on this display will come and it uh, when the display will on you can see two numbers of LEDs will glow over here one for power and another for the unit selected so if we will select the unit in mm the mm LED will glow if we will select the uh, unit in meter, the meter LED will glow and similarly for inch and out 1 and out 2 these are these two out, out 1 and out 2 are configurable means we can either configure it for um, analog or for digital if we will configure it for analog then we will get the current output and for digital we will get the voltage so before powering on you can see some safety guidelines are written over here avoid exposure laser light emitted from the surface means when it will be powered on from this this is the surface where from where the laser light will come out so please don't go in front of this okay so avoid uh, falling of this laser light on uh, on your surface okay so you can see this is the sensor okay so for powering on you can see we have used one 24 volt DC SMPs this is the SMPs from where we will provide a 24 volt DC to the sensor. Okay. Uh, first, um, noting the milliamps. Here we have used one multimeter. Okay. So we have kept it in milliamps uh, condition and we see the milliamps. Okay. Uh, so this is the sensor and this is the cable. As I have told you earlier, there are four pins and at the inside the socket you can also see there are four number of pins and this is the cable that we will use okay so uh, this cable is having four terminal at its end one is brown which will be used for this one L plus means the line okay so one number terminal will be collect connected to this brown that we have already connected it to the DC power supply you can see okay so another is third number third number is L minus this one is the blue cable this is the negative means the ground of this 24 volt DC this has been connected to this this is the current feedback this white cable means the uh, out one this will give the current feedback ok and this is the black one this will give the voltage feedback so we will go, go briefly go through the calibration in the calibration we can see the settings so that we will get the voltage feedback on this black wire ok so let us power on this sensor for powering on I have already switched on this 24 volt power supply so this uh, after connecting this uh, connector to the socket this will be powered on so before connecting just take some safety aspects regarding this connector uh, please note that this should be properly fixed to this connect uh, socket means this is the connector cable connector you can see one notch mark is there this should be fixed to this white mark so that it will be properly fixed ok so let us fix it as you can see this has been fixed now just I am tightening it so after switching on you can see the display has come on the surface of the sensor this is the display this display value is fluctuating because the ray coming from this is falling on different objects which are far and nearer to this sensor so the value of the display is changing as I have told you earlier after powering on you can see the power LED is glowing and the unit has already been selected in mm so the mm is glowing 
this one is out one and out two so for calibration we will use this mod or enter button and another is the set button you can also see in the millions multimeter as I am changing the sensor position means the object position the millions value is also fluctuating ok you can see it is ranging from 4 millions to 20 millions it is fluctuating depending upon the condition or the position of the object ok so let us see the calibration for calibrating we will use this two button now just press this one you can see OU1 it is in HN now let it be uh, at this condition then we will go to the SP1 so this is the set point one so this set point you can see for viewing the set point we have to press this set button so this is set at 1000 uh, let us change this 1000 to 2000 So for changing just keep the set button pressed for some time now you can see the values are changing just keep it pressed it will be gradually it will change then the rate of change will be faster now you can see it is changing faster ok now it is set at 2000 2000 in mm ok let it be 1990 no problem then you press this mode or enter button so that it will be saved ok so next we will go to the OU2 now in OU2 we have set it current ok so let it be in current I can also show you the how to change it just press it now you, you can see the eye is blinking so after some time now means you means it is voltage ok so let it be in I so that we will get the both voltage as well as the current feedback so just press it don't forget to press this one because this will save the whatever changes been made this will save it so just press it then ASP, ASP means the lower range the sensor we can you can see also the range is uh, 0.2 to 10 meter means the lower range is 0.2 means 200 mm and the upper range is 10 meter means 10,000 mm ok again we will go to that so ASP is 0 and AP you can see 999 means it is 10,000 9,999 mm that is almost 10,000 mm so let it fit that condition now we will come out from the programming mode now you can see on the display it is showing 18,000 mm 1900 mm so as you can remember we have set it at 1990 mm means when it will be lesser than that this out one LED will glow ok so now you can see the millions is fluctuating as per the distance of the object and the object is moving far away the millions is going in vision the display also you can see it is showing 4500 now it is gradually coming down ok so you can also see in the millions multimeter it is showing less ok we shall see the voltage feedback for voltage feedback we have ok so now we have connected the multimeter in the voltage range and it has also been kept at DC voltage and we have used the black wire this will give the DC feedback ok so as I have told you earlier this out one will blink when it is distance is less than 2000 mm now the distance is less than 2000 mm so the out one LED is blinking as you can see in the display it is showing 1960 so if we will increase it you can see now the out one LED goes away also the voltage over goes away you can see when it comes below 2000 the voltage showing here is 23 or 24 volt also here it is showing 1900 mm ok 
So this is 900 mm. It is coming closer. If it goes more than that, more than 2000 mm, this voltage will go away. Okay. So this for this will get the voltage feedback. And current feedback I have already told you. So this with this we finish the calibration process of this laser sensor. Thank you for watching.